In this video, we're going to learn how to install Oracle VirtualBox. And Oracle VirtualBox allows you to create images of any OS out there. And this has become an essential tool for any developer or QA tester. Because again, it allows you to create as many images as you want. So you can bounce around from host to host to test your code very quickly. So this is a very easy install. And actually, this will be a very quick video because we're just going to cover the install. And then in the next two videos, we'll actually talk about setting up an actual image. So what I first want you to do is go to the VirtualBox website and I will provide the link to that in the description of this video and what I want you to do is go ahead and select this option right here Windows hosts once you have the software down you'll have a file that looks something like this and this is just a simple executable so I want you to go ahead and double click that and then you're gonna get the installation wizard and you'll just hit next right here now in the second dialog box you can specify the directory where you want to install it in this case we're just gonna go ahead and use the default so go ahead and hit next and I'm going to go ahead and keep all of these checked. So we're just going to hit next here and you're going to get this warning message. Just go ahead and hit yes to that. And then you're going to go ahead and kick off the installation. Now, if you're prompted for any user account control access or any drivers, just go ahead and hit yes. And here we have the device driver that Oracle wants to install. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit always trust Oracle Corporation. Okay, the installation is complete. And go ahead and start up the Oracle VirtualBox just to make sure it works. And it does. Now in the next video, we're actually gonna go ahead and set up a Linux image. Now if you're more interested in Windows, I will show you how to do that as well, and that would be the third video. So you can watch the particular video that interests you, or you can just simply watch both of the videos if you wanna set up a Linux and a Windows image. Okay, thanks as always for watching.